Hello. Hello, good day here from Malaysia. I'm Red One and I'm going to show you the uh, release of uh, Red One Ninja. This plugin that uh, I've evolved from the Aladdin Magic plugin, which you can refer early on in my forum. And uh, this is um, just to demonstrate um, everything that's been shown before in its uh, full um, magnificent uh, glory with um, making it the fastest and most invisible ERP maker in the world to be used on the Idempia which is an award winning two years in the running having the InfoWorld Bossy Award for this ERP in its category making the best software in the world in the marketplace of sub and I'd like to thank uh, Nicholas Macaud and Mohamed de Ramon, the team from France who I've used some of their code that uh, to finally put it all together. Now, after you put in the uh, plugin and login, you will see its new menu um, here. Read one ninja, and you can call up the module designer, and this is all you need. Where all the models that you want to create and here uh, sample data is already prepared for you and as usual this is the master data relationship and what is um, extra is that I put in uh, sequence sequencing so that they run in order to resolve dependency. So here I'm also producing a workflow model. I'm making two callouts and I'm making a uh, info window besides one, two, three, four, five, six, about six models. And uh, under, under the C business partner, there will be a sub tab, surgery, and under the surgery in turn, it will be another sub tab, a grandfather child relationship. And there will be another tab under the C partner, so a patient log. And in this bed registration, you will have uh, properties that do look up BID after the bed where you can dynamically define beds. And uh, well, this is a hospital uh, system, it's just a demonstration uh, proof of concept. And one thing will be that it will come out as a menu, its own menu here, hospital, and this big menu will depend on what is defined there. So patient activity is another dynamic um, uh, record which your um, patient log will look up through its patient activity ID. Okay? And then the info window will do a view, database view, linking the patient log with the business partner, with the bed registration and the bed information with these um, properties or columns. And we have a call out, as I uh, went through before in my forum, you can check them out. One is a doses percentage uh, using JSR223 metadata to generate it, and one is a model calling of another uh, property from a remote model to be brought out to a field. And to run them, Okay, we have to look at the big menu. Uh, once we execute this, it will give uh, these are the two uh, info window. One is for application dictionary to look at the column SQL callout, which is for you here free if you just run it. And the other one, this test is, uh, just put it off, it's not needed. The other one is a order line uh, info window where you look at the price list and discounts and you want to interrogate them, criteria by product, business partner, or orders. And um, now the way it's done is of course more manager using a process and clicking on this all notes will put you on the test mode which means it will run through, but it will not commit. However, the code site will be committed. These are the models of the code, and you should have your location. I must tell him the, um, uh, this location you can get from 
my Bitbucket a blank plugin and you can rename it whatever you want and this is where the stops and codes of the models will be placed in to get them you can go to the Bitbucket <coughs> and I will update the forum uh, on all these links after I make and post the movie but in the big bucket you can go and get a blank uh, plugin which has the uh, structure here if not you uh, just create this package structure and also the OSGI handler uh, location and and also the dependency it's all been uh, preset for you so with uh, this running here, the test is successful. It has processed through three hitters, more of those 11 configs, well, just to give you an idea of what things happen. However, <clears throat> the code, if you look at the problem, some of the code has been uh, released. Uh, it's okay, it's just a test. Uh, is not releasing the final I classes because the metadata has not been resolved. So, if you run an actual test, let's go for this one first. So, without checking it, it will run this present uh, header and run through all these models. You see how quickly it is done. It's rather in a matter of 15 seconds or so. <clears throat> 11, 12, 13. 14 yes and it will uncheck it so they will be rendered inactive so if you want to rerun anything um, any of this model you can just uh, check it back the code everything work, works completely and so if you will go to your namespace plugin refresh it you see the all the uh, code model has been uh, produced in place <coughs> all right I'm hitting some of these errors and it could be resolved if uh, I will resolve that later I guess it's because it did not get the um, I classes the I classes seems not to run it's because it was running uh, concurrently and it was not so you just um, do this make them active again alternative arrow spacebar so everything is done okay and just run again because this transaction that the model was not um, uh, in the instance all right so now they're all done you have to refresh them it will be in. So this is really very quickly and powerfully can be used also as a transporter rather than uh, as a <coughs> uh, using two pack as all of the only way to transport systems. And so you can create a module and it will be completely in a separate uh, plugin of your choice. You can rename this and um, the model it's all been created as you will be able to see. Let me run the other big menu too to get the two info windows out. So this is a really very quick way to do things and all you have to do is to define your model structure and this is where it takes a lot of work. I believe up to 90% of the time is spent uh, planning your data and property uh, model properly call out and now we will examine uh, all this by changing the road log into your client admin doing a role access and uh, you'll see everything appearing and what I have proof here is really something very um, big and fantastic and awesome it's the first time you see a ERP system or uh, database application system of any um, complex uh, detail to be generated that quickly in under one minute. 
<coughs> as we log in and view the um, produce system. So you see, we have the hospital system here, which is a uh, workflow. Everything done, generated for you, with all the uh, scaffolding and uh, boilerplate work, and the uh, three um, info window, with the patient lock window, the uh, AD window, which is already given along with the metadata for you to try out, and it's a bonus, so to say. This is the order line. So this is another bonus <laughs> kind of thing. All right. Let's see with. So all right. So this is two bonus given to you, and this is the uh, sample uh, proof concept of the uh, hospital system. Let's go into things like. Uh, Bit registration, All right? So you can see that uh, this is a lookup with ID, and this was a set list. So you could, uh, yes, a set list, and you can have a data type kind of thing, and you could now zoom in to lookups, of course, and define, let's say, bit one. This is a list that has been. Uh, by you <clears throat> then you can do this easily as you go back here it appears right? you will now let's go to uh, see how the callouts is working and yes the uh, master detail uh, child grandchild setting for uh, two tabs as shown earlier and you can see them here appearing surgery and patient lock is done and this is a child, grandchild. So if you were to call up a record, you see that the grandchild appears here easily. So there is um, it all will fine. Okay. So um, let's uh, get off that, and let's look at if the callout works. I think the callout is under. Uh, and the patient log. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my. Just uh, put them here. Yes, this is the patient log. Uh, we have done two callouts. Uh, one of the callouts is where you can calculate percentage. Let's say this is uh, 300 pills supposed to take, and this person is taking 22 pills. You see the percentage works. Okay. So let's go to the other callout. I believe the other callout is in the uh, can be seen in the business partner, where actually you can still call your model from your admin site, but you cannot modify anything. As you can see that this uh, callout was on uh, patient log, and it is a asking to fetch the group name of the business partner and uh, write it to the description window and this happens to be a child of the business partner so what happens is as you call and I call this C and W as I go to the patient log right you will see that standard customers which is the category of business partner group is fetch and paste here. So a remote model is done to JSR223. Call out. So there you are. Everything is working. So that's it. You can uh, follow this forum of mine, redon.org at MPM and click at item peer and uh, on this ninja and I'll be updating the links into here and for the information as you go on so that's it this is all from me here enjoy the best
ERP in the world, which is become the fastest. Bye-bye.